Hi, and welcome to this video on PDQ with color management. Now, PDQ Print Software Lite does not have color management tab enabled. So that means that the color behavior of PDQ Print Software Lite is likely not ideal because it will just assume that the paper magically is exactly what it's expected and works perfectly uh, no matter what type of paper you have or uh, how the status of your printer is. That is usually not the case. So we need color management to get consistent colors um, over different types of media over different printers. Now on most uh, software to drive printers that allow you to do color management um, creating profiles is usually cumbersome usually closed and usually linked to costs that exceed PDQ print software's cost by a multitude. So we try to make it more easy for you and certainly more affordable in PDQ. Let's show you how it's done. What you see here is my PDQ print software, so not the light version because it's not possible in the light version, only in the paid version on the App Store. Um, what you can do here is we can go into settings and the color management tab because this is a full version, a paid version is um, enabled. So we can set it to default which would be the lights mode of color management actually not doing any color management but we can also set application manage colors which allows us to select an ICC profile select a rendering intent, black point compensation, and adjust saturation if we want to. But before you can, obviously, you need to have an ICC profile. Now, most uh, manufacturers will say, we have a list of ICC prof profiles available for your printer. Uh, to me, that is fundamentally not ideal, because an ICC profile is actually characterizing your specific printer in combination with your specific media in the print mode that you selected um, and then getting the color behavior from that and translating that into a color profile that makes sure that all the colors are correct. Saying that a factory ICC profile uh, would do that is not never completely correct because your printer could be slightly different from the manufacturer's default profile. And um, it could be, for instance, because one of your print heads doesn't work as well anymore as it did in, at the beginning of your uh, printer purchase. Or that your paper is slightly different. You might use a completely different brand of paper on PDQ and your printer than the official manufacturer's paper. And there's sometimes um, good reason for that because sometimes media types are not available from the manufacturer of your printer. So for you to be able to create your own ICC profiles without without having to invest heavily into color management equipment and software and knowledge, uh, we wanted to do something in PDQ that will allow you to do just that. So what we can do is go to profiling mode and what it does, it allows you to enter the name of your media. So we'll do that. We'll just say this is our, uh, we'll call this a Hanamula uh, Fine Art. And we enter our email address. So we'll just enter here any address. So info at Mac.com. Obviously, you enter your own email address here. Uh, so that we know from the target where we have to send the ICC profile to. And now, if you hit the target key, PDQ generates two files, two pages, that are your uh, ICC profile target. Now, by default, they are in landscape, because on a roll printer you would want them landscape, because on most roll printers you could fit two nested on this particular printer, printer which is an A, um, uh, two size printer you probably don't have that paper as separate sheets so what we do here to make it more easy we've set up the 
the paper size small here to A4. If you do have an A2, we could do it like this. And it would try to fit pages, but it still wouldn't. So it makes more sense to do this on an A4 page. And then simply just rotate the images until they fit. So you rotate one and you rotate the other. And now they do fit on a single page. So you see we have two pages. Sheets use is two. And we could just simply print after making sure that the print mode that we use and all the settings otherwise related to quality are the way we want them to be. Because an ICC profile um, could vary if you select a different print mode. In fact, it will vary. Not a huge lot, but it will vary. So define the quality before you hit the target button. So um, by doing that, you know exactly uh, what you are getting. And if you're happy with your settings and you've done the target, then you start the print queue. It will print out these two pages and then you can send those to Color Plaza. And for the address, please check the support link and it will give you a link to the address of where you can send those targets to. They are A4 size, letter size targets, so you can just put them in an envelope. Um, if you really have to, you can even fold them, although it's not recommended. Um, and just send them over and we will measure an ICC profile from those two target prints and email to the ad address you gave the ICC profile with the name that you gave for the media and the printer name is also in there. So that is about the easiest way we can make an ICC profile. Just to show you it has the information on it, I will get my printer open here. Let me open my printer queue for this particular printer. So this is an Epson 3880. We'll open the print queue and we'll pause it for a second. And we'll close that. Now if we run this and say OK, you can see that both the files are coming into the uh, queue of the printed driver and if we double click that you get a preview of what is going to be printed. You can see the dotted lines, you just cut them out on those dotted lines and as you can see as you zoom in it now has the brand, the model, the version of PDQ, the email address and the media name and the quality all together on your target print. So we can define you a profile and email that back to you with a name that makes sense to the settings that you used. And once you have that profile you simply go into settings again. And you would load up the profile in a place where it's supposed to be which is in your profiles folder. So let me show you where that is exactly. Um, if we change this one to application managed then we can select the profile and by default your profiles are here in your profiles folder. So add the folder and uh, add the profile you have here. I'll just choose a different one because I don't have a particular 88, 3880 at hand here. But you choose the profile that you got from us by email and you open that. And then it will be applied to this particular uh, print queue. Then you set the rendering intent. Uh, there is a complete video on explanation on rendering intent and black point compensation on Color Plaza TV. Check that out if you're interested. Uh, we also have a video on sRGB or Adobe RGB that's quite popular um, explaining why there's nothing wrong with using sRGB and there actually are some benefits to using sRGB. Um, but here's the rendering intent. For now, I'll just suffice by saying that perceptual is something you do on a paper that is low quality. So on a plain paper or a very matte paper, you might want to go perceptual to get a better looking image. Your colors will not be correct, but they'll look nicer than if you do it relatively. And if you have a nice paper, you can go relative and use black point compensation. We added the slider because um, color saturation is something that a lot of users, uh, end users, customers prefer. 
So if your image has a little bit more saturated colors, a lot of people will prefer that image over a slightly less saturated image. So we added the slider with a neutral send, uh, set point, uh, but you can also go 50% plus or minus. So once you've done that, every file that you print will now be processed with color management. And to show you that how that looks, let's open up the sample file. And we can print that one. We'll say OK. It now tells me, do you want me to use the default profile used in settings? So we'll say OK. And it now processes the file with color management. And if we delete one of those, it will update the cube. And now we have a color managed version of our print job that's going into our driver. So that's how color management works on PDQ. Um, I hope you found this useful. This is only available on the paid version of PDQ, not on the light version. So if you want to get the highest quality, switching to the paid version of PDQ makes sense. It's not expensive. Um, if you make an extra sale or uh, spend less time having to get the right print, you will easily earn it back. Um, it's available on the App Store. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.